I come from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I have uh, two amazing parents, and I have uh, six other siblings, uh, four older brothers, two younger sisters. My earliest sports memory uh, was just growing up, um, playing in the backyard three on three with uh, my dad and my four older brothers, even though they get a little heated sometimes, but it was, it was a lot of good family fun. And, uh, we were very blessed to have six guys in the family to play three on three. I was, I was actually, I played baseball and basketball, I remember, uh, until I was um, about in the sixth or seventh grade. And my dad thought I should have kept playing baseball just in case I didn't get good enough. And then my junior and senior year were um, really good years, really good seasons for me. So I would say I guess that's what I knew. Like I had a lot of confidence in myself that I could definitely play college basketball. I really wanted to play for a coach and a system that um, not only was good um, on the court, but uh, you know, foster development outside of the court as well. And I knew Bell and Abby uh, very well through my brother Patch. Uh, I'd been coming to games since uh, I was like in eighth grade or so. You know, he told me a lot about his experience, how he'd grown tremendously. You know, heard about how sport and virtue truly is uh, incorporated here at Bell and Abby, and that was a, a big deal to me. I've learned a lot academically and intellectually um, through all my classes in the liberal arts education room. Really, I truly do believe it's uh, formed me into a more well-rounded individual um, I'm a biology major, so uh, you know, taking all these different classes like philosophy, theology, and uh, literature, and, and, and history, and stuff like that, uh, classes that um, I didn't think I'd be interested in have really uh, captured my attention um, and helped me grow a lot, I think, in becoming uh, a more well-rounded individual. The coaches not only, you know, like I said, helped me on the court, but they've been great mentors, um, great role models in my life, all of them that I had, um, but they've taught me a lot of life lessons, and um, you know, just investing in you, caring for you, truly caring for you and loving you um, and willing to do anything for you to help you succeed off the court, uh, whether it be academically, spiritually, or emotionally, all those things. Um, they really invest in you and that means a lot. So I've had a lot of teammates now with four years, uh, always different graduating seniors each year. Um, and a lot of friends, a lot of close, close relationships and, you know, we consider ourselves a family. You know, I really do look at them like my brothers. It's been a tremendous learning experience for me. Um, I've never, never been injured before, um, and to have to watch from the sidelines, you know, uh, forced me to uh, coach my teammates, essentially, and try to be there for them and, um, and just talk them through everything instead of having to, you know, being able to show through my actions. It was very difficult to do that. Uh, it may have been a tremendous blessing in disguise in helping me try to teach them and inspire them, encourage them. But for me personally, I guess the biggest life lesson I learned is, I guess, how to sacrifice the good of others, which in my opinion is love, you know, learning how to love others. Uh, which is uh, something I've learned through sport uh, and also all the other lessons that I've grown in, I think, are, you know, in discipline and, uh, and humility as well. Um, and just, yeah, forming a good work ethic. So it's called the Good Works Award, and basically this award um, recognizes those student athletes, uh, 10 of them across America, that uh, have given back to the community in various ways. And so for me, um, I've done a lot of volunteer work um, um, to helping underprivileged youth, as well as medical outreach that I've done, um, and as well as all the various basketball camps I've worked. Um, all those things kind of, you know, were on the, uh, I guess, resume for the award, and that's what helped me uh, receive the award. Being able to meet with the abbot of the, the monastery and uh, Abbot Placid, he's a tremendous and wholly inspiring figure uh, and friend, and, um, you know, I woke up to him kind of as a second father here. But getting to know the monks uh, and seeing them at Mass and just around campus, here on campus, um, is really inspiring. I know for not only me, but so many others. Like, I was actually, we were talking about it the other day, how inspiring it is just to walk past the monk and say hello, you know, and for them to uh, ask how we're doing and truly invest in us as well. I've grown tremendously in my faith, and uh, although I was, a, I thought I was a strong Catholic coming in before, um, you know, I think I'm weaving as a stronger Christian uh, and soldier for Christ, but um, the Abbey has, uh, like I said, provided so many gifts um, through not only you know, the sacraments that are available here at Bowen Abbey and, and the, the Adoration Chapel and the Grotto, but um, the people, like I said, um, have probably touched me the most um, and what I've learned from them and how they've all helped me grow in my faith um, and just how inspiring they are as role models of faith. Um, and so spiritually, they've, they've helped me tremendously, and I'm just, I'm just very blessed to have come here. You know, I'm definitely going to miss this place in terms of ha helping me, uh, you know, grow so much intellectually, spiritually, and physically. Um, whereas most, most places, I don't think recognize that uh, those three aspects of your life: body, mind, body, and spirit. Um, but, the, but the Abbey does, and I think that's why it's special. Um, and the people, I think, help do that the most. Um, and so that's what I miss about it the most: is definitely the people.